Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In this lecture of cell biology, means today we will clear centrioles, centrosome, diplosome, base cell body, base cell granules, blepharoplasts, kinetosomes. As well as in today's lecture, we will clear functions of centrioles and functions of base cell bodies. The centrioles. These are a pair of cell organelles. And these centrioles, as name indicates, centriole means the cell center that was coined by von Banden. The discovery of these cell organelles, centrioles, that credit goes to von Banden. He found that these cell organelles, centrioles, which lie at right angle to each other. And these cell organelles are surrounded by a part of cytoplasm, which is without any cell organelles. And that cytoplasm is called centrosphere, kinoplasm or cytocentrum. No doubt, in case of all animal cells, no doubt, in case of all animal cells, these centrioles are present, except in case of mature mammalian RBCs. No centrioles because mature mammalian RBCs are without any cell organelles. It means in case of mature mammalian RBCs, these cell organelles are absent. But in all other mammalian cells, these centrioles are present. As well as the centrioles are present in most of protest like euglenoids, dinoflagellates. In case of lower plants having motile cells, the plants which possesses motile cells like anthrozoids of most plants, bryophytes, liverworts, funeria, marchantia. In case of pteridophytes, first plants, the anthrozoids also possesses centrioles. In case of some algae, algae, which are motile algae, like clemidomonas and the motile spores, juice spores, the centrioles are present. But centrioles, these cell organelles are absent in case of prokaryotes. No doubt, in case of prokaryotes, in case of fungi, non motile algae. And in all higher plants like gymnosperms and angiosperms, no centrioles. No doubt, these centrioles, which are a pair of cell organelles which lie at right angle to each other, and these centrioles are surrounded by a part of cytoplasm which is free from other cell organelles. That cytoplasm is centrosphere, it is kinoplasm. And this complex, not down competitive exam students, the complex as the centrioles are a pair, means these are two bodies. So these centrioles, both centrioles are collectively constitute a diplosome. And these diplosome are surrounded by a part of cytoplasm that is centrosphere, this complex is. This complex which is formed of centrioles, a pair of centrioles, means a diplosome and the centrosphere, the part of cytoplasm in which these cell organelles are embedded. They collect, collectively constitute a complex that is centrosome. Note down, the centrioles, these are found in pair. So these are diplosome. And these bodies are embedded in a clear part of cytoplasm, which is without any cell organelles. That cytoplasm, that is centrosphere, kinoplasm or cytocentrum, both this cytocentrum and these cell organelles collectively constitute a complex. That complex is centrosome. Very important, very important terms 
for all competitive exams. Centrioles are a pair. So these are diplosome. And both centrioles plus this part of cytoplasm, that cytoplasm is centrosphere. They collectively constitute a complex. And this complex which is formed by a pair of centrioles and centrosphere. That complex is centrosome. This is an ultrastructure, electron microscopic structure, cartwheel structure of centriole. And this fine electron microscopic structure that was discovered by Bowery. So, this apparatus, this complex is also named Bowery's apparatus. Not down, these are two apparatus. One is Golgi apparatus because Golgi that was discovered by Camilo Golgi and this structure was given by Bowery. So, it is Bowery's central apparatus. Note down, these centrioles which are a pair of cell organelles and these organelles, organelles lie adjacent to, just near the nucleus, almost in the central part of a cell. So, von Banden coined the term centriole, means the cell center. These are a pair of structures which lie perpendicular to each other and these are surrounded by a part of clear cytoplasm that is centrosphere and this complex is it is centrosome these centrioles are a pair so both are diplosome this cartwheel structure this electron microscopic structure of a centriole that shows a centriole is made up of Nine peripheral microtubules. It means in case of centriole, the structure of centriole shows nine plus zero arrangement of microtubules. And these microtubules, which are nine in number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine microtubules, nine strands, and these nine strands are peripheral in position. And each peripheral microtubule or a strand that is a triplet means each microtubule having one, two, three subunits. And these A, B, C, three subunits, or these are A, B, C subfibrils in a triplet. This A subunit or this a subfibril or a subtubule it is made up of 13 microfilaments no down in in case of cilia flagella these microtubules are doublets in case of cilia flagella we have already discussed that topic 9 plus 2 arrangement and the 9 peripheral outer peripheral microtubules are doublets but here in case of centriole as well as in the structure of base cell body not down all competitive exam students the structure of this centriole as well as the structure of base cell body is similar both in case of base cell body as well as centriole the arrangement of microtubules the arrangement of strands peripheral strands that is 9 plus 0 it means in outer region, in this peripheral region, the nine microtubules are present. And each microtubule is triplet. As in case of basal body as well as in case of centriole, these peripheral microtubules are triplets. But in case of cilia flagella, these peripheral microtubules are doublets, having A, B subunits, but here A, B, C, three subunits. This A subunit having 13 microfilaments and in B and C 10 microfilaments. This central part, in case of cilia flagella, this central part consists of two microtubules, but here 
only a proteinaceous central road or it is hub it means in case of centriole as well as in case of basal body the central region without any microtubule so the arrangement the manner is 9 plus 0 there is no confusion in this central region it is a proteinaceous it is central road or it is hub and this from this hub 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 radial fibers develop these are named radial spokes these are nine in number and each radial spoke terminates with a dense material dm thickening that is x body or it is foot these thickenings dm bodies or x bodies are linked with each other through another dm another thickening that is y body these x bodies also linked with the a subunit and these triplets a b c these triplets also interconnect with the adjacent triplets through a ca or ac linker not down each and every point and this entire structure of a centriole on its periphery it possesses small dense granular bodies these structures are massules or crowns or paracentriolar satellites no down this entire structure it is a centriole and on its periphery these are some granular structures which are without any dna but these massules paracentriolar satellites act as a nucleating center these are involved these massules or paracentriolar satellites these are involved in the growth of microtubules at the time of cell division these are involved in microtubule organizing centers at the time of cell division these massules or paracentriolar satellites are involved in replication of these centrioles it means the centrioles without having DNA but these have power of self-replication having a power of division due to presence of these peripheral satellites no down and these centrioles which are involved in ester microtubule organization at the time of cell division as well as the microtubules which are present in ester which help in cell division and the centrioles which are present in a spermatozoan in case of mammalian spermatozoan this proximal centriole which involves in the first cleavage of zygote in case of mammalian spermatozoan two centrioles are present one is proximal upper and this lower distal centriole that involves in the formation of axial filament or in the formation of tail but this proximal centriole it involves in divisions of first cleavage of zygote means at the time of embryo formation first division of zygote embryo that occurs in presence of proximal centriole the basal bodies the centrioles centrioles are involved in the formation of the basal bodies and these basal bodies which are present in this outer part of ectoplasm in this outer part of cytoplasm just near the just below the cell membrane and these basal bodies are involved in the formation of cilia and flagella note down in today's lecture we are discussing 
the centrioles which are a pair means these are diplosome and these centrioles are present in a clear part of cytoplasm that is centrosphere and this entire complex means a pair of centrioles plus this centrosphere this part of cytoplasm and this complex is centrosome this whole structure lies just near this nucleus in the central part of a cell that's why von Beneden Benden called it centriole the cell center this ultra structure fine electron microscopic structure called wheel structure pin wheel structure that was given by Bowery it is also named Bowery apparatus this structure shows the centrioles are microtubule structures as these are made up of nine peripheral microtubules or strands and these peripheral microtubules are triplets having three subunits a b c subfibrils a subfibril that is made up of 13 microfilaments and b and c are made up of 10 microfilaments in this central region a solid central road proteinaceous hub is there from this hub one two three four five six seven eight nine radial spokes develop and it shows nine plus zero element and the outer peripheral region having these satellites these are pericentriolar satellites or masses which are without any dna but the masses act as nucleating center for the formation for the organization of these ester microtubules the growth of microtubules at the time of cell division these centrioles play positive role it means in case of animal cells the ester formation that is carried by the centrioles but in case of plant cells in case of angiosperm gymnosperm no centrioles no ester organization that is an ester but in case of animal cells the cell division the organization of ester so it is astral cell division here in case of spermatozoa two centrioles proximal that centriole involves in first cleavage of zygote and this distal that involves in the formation of tail axial filament and these centrioles are involved in the formation of basal bodies and the basal bodies are involved in the formation of cilia and flagella. This is all about centrioles, centrosome, diplosome, basal bodies and the basal bodies are also named basal granules, blepharoplasts, kinetosomes. In next lecture we will discuss cell 